Okay, how's that? A little better? There you are. Excellent. Okay, um, we have just another minute or two before we get started. Um, so for those of you that are already here, um, today is going to be Pilates Fusion. So we had not only a time change, but a small format adjustment too. Um, so we'll go through um, so kind of like, I guess, fundamentals. We'll tap into everything. So uh, we're going to work the front of the body. We'll work the back of the body and we'll also work hips. So kind of like your, your big three areas um, that you should be tapping into in any Pilates class. So we're going to follow um, kind of a traditional sequencing. And then um, I think your, your big take home is just that it's more of a fusion rather than a traditional mat because we're going to be spending a lot more time um, just on repetition. So hopefully you get a lot of good muscle burn in this workout. Um, so give me just one second and then we will actually get started. Okay, um, so as I was saying, it's going to be more of a mat-based workout today. So I have my mat behind me um, and then you can start laying down. We're gonna again spend about 10 minutes on abdominals first. Then we're going to go into the back for about 10 minutes and then about 10 minutes in hips. So by the time we're done with all of this, you know, 10 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're dedicating it to one area, it is a nice long time. Don't worry. Um, so you're really going to make the most of your 30 minutes here. So go ahead and lay down onto your back and we can get started from here. So the first thing that you're going to do is just lay all the way down nice and flat. Make sure you just, if you have enough room, to do like a snow angel, even about this far, you're gonna have plenty of space. That's about all you need. Um, so from this point, feel your hips heavy into the mat. You'll probably feel sh your shoulders heavy into the mat. Imagine what it would be like if you could even like with a pen or a pencil, trace the area where you feel pressure onto your hips. Imagine what that shape feels like in both of those places. And I want you to make this Flatness even a little bit deeper as you pull your ribs down. And now imagine again, how did that shape resting into the mat change? You're going to bring your arms up and back to the wall behind you, keeping those ribs pulling down, and then arms up and back down by your hips. Just two more like that, up and back, and then down by your hips. And one more time, up and back, and then down by your hips from there. Good. From here, just draw your knees in. Your feet are going to be flat. You're just still warming up the back because we're about to do a lot of repetition here. You're going to tuck your tail under. Again, think of what would that shape look like if you traced um, on the floor all of that pressure and then relax and then do that same thing again. Find that little posterior pelvic tilt. Your stomach is pulling in. Your ribs are really pulling together and then you relax. Do three more like that. Pull in, in, in. Ribs pull down, down, down and relax. And if you're really working here with that, you're starting to notice your abdominals feeling like they're engaged, ribs pull down, stomach pulls in, hips pull up, and then relax. And one more time like that. Pull in, ribs down, and then relax. Okay, so now don't move your hips anymore. This whole thing that we really just tapped into, it's good to get the movement and get, to get things warmed up. But now this is solid. This isn't going anywhere. You're just moving from your ribs. So first and foremost, the chin is going to come onto the chest. As usual, guys, if you need to make omissions or modifications, please do. Okay? You're going to bring your chin onto your chest and then lift your shoulders off and then shoulders down and head down. So think of it as four counts. Do that again. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, stomach pulls in, down, down, do four more, up, up, down, down, three more, and again, notice how your head and shoulders moving are two distinct portions, down, down, one more time, down, down, good. So hopefully you started to feel that maybe a little bit up here. Let's work those lower abdominals a little bit deeper before you really hit everything home. You're gonna sink your belly in nice and tight, set those ribs pulling down, feel that imaginary nice and long shape 
underneath your back, heavy into the floor. It's not just your hips and just your shoulders anymore. It's your whole back, nice and long. You go one leg in and lower. Other side in and lower. Keep alternating here and down, up and down. Do four more. Three more. Two. And one, right leg up, it's gonna stay up there, left leg is gonna meet it, and alternate from here. If your back bothers you, you're getting one foot and putting it right on the floor. Keep alternating, and again, and six, and seven, and eight, both legs when you're ready. Eight, they might not go all the way down to the floor, and that's okay. Seven, try to push the knees together, six, Five, four, feel that shape in your back not changing. Three, two, and one, and then lower one foot at a time from there. Good. Any comfortable way, come up to a seated position, working a little bit bigger of a range. You're just going to stretch your arms forward, your stomach pulls in tight, you're squeezing your butt, and then you're slowly going to roll down just about halfway and then come back up from there. Do that again, rounding down, 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 and back up. And again, down, 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 and back up. And again, down, 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 and back up. Four more like that, then we're gonna go into our 100. Four, and up, and three, and up, and two, and up. When you come down this time, shoulder blades just skim the floor. You're going to stay there. Hold, bring your knees into your chest, and start to pump. Inhaling, and out. Legs up when you're ready. Inhale, and out. Start to lower if you're ready. Inhale, and out, and again, and out. And again, and out, and again, and out. Four more, inhale, and out. Three more, inhale, and out. Two more, inhale, and out. And last one, inhale, and out, and lower those legs, lower the head and shoulders. Arms come up and back to the wall behind you. Here's your roll up. So you can flex your feet if you can. Arms come up first, chin on your chest. And roll it up, stretching, stretching, stretching past those feet. And roll it back down. Arms go up and back. Do that again. Arms, head, shoulders. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Stretch. And back down. And back. Do it again. Three more. Arms, head. Then shoulders stretching, stretching to the front and back down. Two more. Arms, head, and up. Stretching, stretching, stretching and back down. One more time like that. Arms, head, and shoulders stretching to the front. Head is down. Okay, we're going to roll down to your tricky spot. It's a different place for everyone. So you're going to make sure that you're tilting the hips under, stomach is pulling in. Find that spot where you don't think you can really hold it anymore and then stay there. And you're going to go up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Soft shoulders, three reaching arms, two, and one. And then come all the way down really slow. Whoo, head down, shoulders down, arms come back. Give yourself just a little stretch. Rest for just a moment. We are going next into our Pilates abdominal series. So you should hopefully be pretty darn warmed up by now. Okay, so knees into the chest. We'll take a break after each exercise. Make sure your neck hurts, you put your head down. If your back feels uncomfortable, you put your feet down. So those are two major modifications. Just keep that in mind as we go through. We're gonna do eight on each side. 
So first is our single leg stretch. And we're gonna take our time. So really, like they say, squeeze the juice out of it, right? So take your time, give it that little extra effort. Okay, so knees come into the chest, bring your chin onto your chest also, and then you're gonna stretch one leg out and hold. Now my outside arm goes long, and then opposite hand to opposite knee. Okay, and you're trying to aim your leg towards your ear, and this straight leg, you're squeezing your butt on this side. It's not just kind of hanging out there. Squeeze it and make this work, then switch. Squeeze it and stretch. This is two and two, three, three. Four, look deep into your hips. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in, take a short break. Whew. Okay, moving on. Same modifications apply as necessary, right? Now remember, you're pulling your stomach in to keep your back safe. We'll talk about this again when we switch to working our back too. But you wanna keep that heavy so that you don't let your back pop up, okay? That's part of the reason you curl up with your upper body to tap into that. So curl up once again, and this is just the setup. Okay, arms and legs go out. Here's your work. Curl up higher, stretch longer, and then circle, bring it in. So its shoulders do not lower down at all, ever. Stretch out again, reach, curl up higher, stretch longer, circle around. You have six more like that, stretching around. Five more, stretching around. Four more, stretching around. If you need to set your head down, you can. Two, and one, and then take a rest. Whew. So hopefully we're really connecting our upper abdominal and our lower abdominals together when we're doing that. Going to our single straight leg stretch. Curl it up, legs up, one leg comes back towards you, you lower your opposite side, and then switch. And then switch. Try to get up as close to your heel as you can. And now remember, you're not just lowering that leg, you're squeezing your butt to push it down. Squeeze your butt to push. Squeeze your butt to push. Let's go for four and four. Three and three. Two and two. One and one. Both legs up. Again, take one more short little break. Double straight leg lower comes next. Okay, same idea. Ribs are in, back is heavy. Again, think of that shape that's pushing into the mat. Your back is imprinting. If you were laying in sand, what would that indent look like? Okay, curl up again. Okay, hands can go behind the head here for a little bit of support. So I am, I'm gently pulling my head and I'm uh, pulling my head up with my hands and I'm pulling my head back with my neck, if that makes sense. You're pushing one thing into the other and you're gonna go down and up one. Down and up two. Down and up three. Four, just four more, just three, just two, just one, and rest. Whew. All right, last but not least for our abdominal series, and then it'll be time to move on, we're gonna go into our crisscross. You get one little stretch after this part, and then we'll use our backs. But for the meantime, you're curling up, and you're gonna add some rotation here too. So hands are stacked. You're gonna look into your stomach nice and deep and then twist to one side. And again, squeeze your butt to get that leg out and switch. Squeeze your butt to stretch. Here we are for two and two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, rest. Whew. All right. Come on up to a seated position any comfortable way. You're gonna stretch your legs out long and they're gonna be about shoulder distance apart from one another. Your arms come forward just to get a little stretch through your back before we start to use our back muscles. So you're gonna squeeze your bottom chin down and then roll down nice and gentle and then come up. Four more like that deep inhale and deeper exhale, chin. Imagine setting your head on the floor between your knees. And then roll up. Three more. 
and up. Two more. And up. And one last time. And come all the way up and rest it down from there. Excellent. Go ahead and lay onto your stomach now. So you'll turn it over. You're laying flat on your mat, okay? And big takeaway here, all of that pulling in that you did with your stomach, you have to keep doing that. It keeps your back safe, so please don't let that go. Um, we're gonna start with the hands, one on top of another underneath your forehead, and squeezing your butt to push your legs down into the floor. So don't relax. Let's get the work in there, right? Okay, from here, just lifting the head, not the chin, lift your whole upper body, and lower and pull your stomach in deeper to do that we're going to do 10 so you have eight more stomach lifts you so even if i lift high my ribs are actually still on the floor i'm not pushing with my hands they're just not adding weight we'll do two more here as usual guys omit or modify as needed okay and then we're gonna do another set. This time, if you're comfortable bringing your hands with you, please do. So, thighs push down, you're pushing those legs into one another, so those inner thighs should really be getting warmed up. We're going on to hips after this sequence. So lift and lower. And two and three, you're lifting your stomach to lift your chest. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, you have two more, nine, and one more time, 10, and rest, good. If you need to push back into a counter stretch, please do. We're gonna move on into I's, T's, and Y's. So these are some pretty popular um, exercises, especially in like outpatient ortho type settings. Um, and they're just good for your shoulders. So why not make them a part of our regular practice, right? So if you have a small pillow or you need a small pillow or a towel roll to put underneath your forehead, you can do that. Avoid this, right? So your neck stays long, your forehead is down and your arms are gonna go by your sides. Lifting and lowering the arms, one and two. And if you're really stretching and moving those arms, this is tough even without weights. Six, Seven, stomach is still in, still squeezing that butt. Nine, and 10, lower down, arms come out to the side. Your thumbs are pointing up to the ceiling, okay? So remember, the work won't do itself. Stomach and butt still working here. One, two, three, stomach in. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, stomach and butt. Nine, inner thighs push together and 10 and lower. Arms come overhead into a wide position. My hands are just a little bit wider than my shoulders. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Arms come back by your sides. We're doing another set, 10 of each on your last five for each. You can add lifting your chest with it, okay? That's an option, not a requirement. Here we go, one, two, stomach and butt, three, four, five, add that chest lift if you're ready, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, arms come to the side, they're gonna lift up. Here we go, one, and two, your upper back should be getting a little tired. Three, four, and five, if you wanna lift your chest, here you go. One, two, three, stomach in to protect your back. Four, and five, arms overhead. Here we go, whoo, my heart rate's coming up, and one, Two, squeezing stomach and butt. Three, add that chest lift. Here we go, this one's tough. One, two, three, 
four, and five. Good. From here, just give yourself just a little counter stretch. It's a long time to be doing extension. So just sit back onto your heels. If that's comfortable, you can go into any other comfortable resting position too. We have just about three more minutes to be working on our back and then we're gonna change the hips. Okay, so when you're ready, you're gently gonna walk it back out one more time. We'll do a couple combination exercises here. So we're gonna go into lifting head, chest, arms, legs, everything all together like Superman's. We're gonna work on our leg lifts and our heel beats too. So uh, let's actually start with the legs lift, leg lifts first. One hand on top of another, forehead down. Stomach in, squeeze your butt, lift those legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good, adding on, you're gonna go lift, heels tap together, open and down. Okay, here we go. One, close open, two, close open, three, four, five, six, pulling that stomach up, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, arms are reaching out. We're going into Superman's next. Head, chest, arms, legs, everything, but don't forget to lift your stomach away from the mat too. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Longer arms are harder. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, lower down. Forehead goes back on the hands, okay? Just heel beats. So they're gonna come up 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Again, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold, lower. Good. Arms go straight out ahead of you. Lifting everything again. Keep your eyes down toward the mat for swimming. Come on up and swim. No rocking. Just deep inhale, deeper exhale, deep inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, last time inhale, and exhale, lower down, sit back onto your heels one more time. We have a grand finale for our upper back. We're gonna do the 100 again, but this time while laying on your stomach. Okay, so it's kind of the exact opposite of what we did before. Um, what's really good for this is you're gonna be tempted to kind of wiggle around side to side. And what happens when you're trying not to do that, even though your arms are putting those forces through your body, your stabilizing back muscles have to work. And that's a really good way to develop your core. Remember that goes all the way around your waist. It's not just the front, okay? So come on out again. Arms go by your sides. Legs stay together, try to keep your feet down here so you're not trying to lift your legs. We'll do uh, two sets of five here. So you're gonna lift up, you're gonna go inhale, and out. In, and out. In, stretch longer, and out. In, and out. And one more, in, and out and lower, relax. We're doing that one more time and then moving on the hips. Whew, take a deep breath, inhale. And stomach in, come up and pump. Inhaling and out. In, arms in tight and out. In and out. In and out. Last one, in and out, and lower down. Give yourself one last counter stretch, and when we come back out, we're moving on into our hips. Okay, so come on out to a sideline position. We're gonna go with side 
uh, for today. So you already got into your hips a little bit when you lifted your legs to the back, you got your glutes engaged there a little bit. So for today, I'm lined up against the back edge of my mat, trying to avoid this arm here and get it back there. Okay, your feet coming forward is going to make this more stable so you can figure out exactly where you should be feeling this in your hips, okay? This arm, don't do this thing. Let it come forward a little bit and it's just kind of resting down, all right? If this makes you shrug your shoulder, get that hand lower. Okay, pinch your heels together and then lift up and lower. Do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Knees together, lift your foot. One, two, three, four, five, five more. And if you feel like you can keep this pretty stable, then you can take your feet back a little bit. We're gonna do one more of each exercise, one more set of 10 that is, okay? So if you're feeling comfortable and steady, bring those feet back, it's harder. So we go one, and then you'll feel it more in back, right? But your hip can't go with your thigh. Your thigh has to work independent of your hip. Five, six, seven, eight, stomach in, two more nine and ten knees together lift your foot again one and this will be harder two you'll feel like you don't get as much range and that's all right find the work four five six seven eight nine and ten good stretch the legs out nice and long so they're on a little bit of an angle my body's to the back but my feet are kind of to the front lift up to hip joint level i'm just going to brush to the front and the back so we're going to go one and one two and two without rocking three and you can see me kind of cheating and holding my mat a little bit four try to avoid it it's tough five six stomach seven, if you're feeling extra steady, eight, oh, it's harder, nine, and one more, 10, good, heels together, turn just your top leg out, lift that leg up, do not let those hips fall back, up and down, two, three, imagine there was someone with a thumbtack, with their thumbtack right by your cheek, don't roll back, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, little circles, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold. Bring that leg up. So my foot is just gently resting on my opposite side knee. I'm gonna really push that hip forward and pull my stomach in. We're gonna work from here, one, and open, two, open three, so even your bottom hip should be feeling this, four, and open, five, and six, and seven, and eight, so both hips working, and nine, so by the time you get to the other side, you should be feeling it pretty good, and ten, slide that leg out, okay, we're going to come up, sweep the legs to the other side, and move on, and repeat from there, so right into it, Come on down and feet to the front corner, hand resting. Here we go, one and two. So really staying in the work. Three, press your bottom leg into the floor as much as you're pressing your top leg up to the ceiling. Six, seven, you could do this with a resistance band too, of course. Nine and 10, lift your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do two more and then take your legs back if you feel like you're steady. Okay, then bring those legs back. Here you go, turn out, one, two, four more minutes, you guys, hang in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and then lift that heel. Here you go. One, two, three, stomach in, four, five, try not to let the hip rock, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Straighten those legs out. Okay. Top leg comes up to hip joint level. Brush front. One and back. One, two, and two, three, and three, four, and four, five, and five, six, and six. You're feeling this right here. And eight. Two more. Almost there. Nine and 10, heels together, turn that top leg out, lift, one, squeeze down, two, don't let that hip roll back, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, one more, 10, little circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. reverse, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest it all the way down from there. All right, excellent work, you guys. Let's do just a tiny little stretch to finish up. So any comfortable way, come on up to a seated position. Let's start by taking the soles of the feet together, and you're just gonna hinge forward, just gently pushing down onto those knees if overpressure feels good. Okay, and then slowly roll up from there. Stretch your legs out long. Forward fold again, stretching out the back, the back of the body, and just rest into it and breathe. And slowly come up from there. Take one leg up and across, sit up tall, arms out, twist toward the side of the bent knee, and just again a gentle stretch. Come back to center, switch to the other side, up and across, arms up, and twist when you're ready. Good. Come back to center, soles of the feet together, take one leg to the back, okay, and same arm as your back leg is going to come up, and you're going to lift up and out of your waist. And then from there, you're going to round down and crawl your hands to the front. Come up, same thing, other side. So just switching feet. Same arm as your back leg comes up. Stretch over. Round it down to the front and to the center. And slowly come up. Have a seat in any comfortable position. Take a deep breath, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Do that just one more time for me. Deep breath, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And you guys are all set for today. Thank you so much for taking the time to work out with me. Um, next week, more, of, uh, more variety, so it'll be Pilates Fusion again. Um, maybe we'll get a little bit more cardio in next time. So as always, let me know if there's things you like, don't like, anything like that. Um, I'm happy to help anytime if you have questions or comments. Thanks so much. I'll see you again next week.